Welcome back, lords and ladies. Today we are going to look at Millennia, Mikola, Rani, and their shadows, or lack thereof. Now, the shadows are something we see mentioned in the game several times over, as we do see Merica's half brother Malekith, guardian of death, and Rani's shadow Blade. Now, shadows are chosen by the two fingers to protect the Empyreans as they wait for their chance to achieve godhood. Often referred to as Blades, Malekith Black Blade, and Blade the Wolf, whose description on his armor says the Blade of Rani, but they also have an underlying purpose. Should an Empyrean betray the Golden Order and turn against their two fingers, their blade would enter a frenzied rage and hunt down their former master until they've destroyed them. But oddly enough, when Rani kills her two fingers in her quest line, if you return to her tower, you will then find Blade outside, overcome with madness, but still able to maintain his loyalty to Rani, evidenced in his line, No, I'm part of her very being. I could never betray her. No matter what might happen, Rani, she needs me. An interesting thing to note is you see Black Knife assassins dead in the area, and this brings up some interesting questions in itself. Were the assassins coming for Rani or for Blade? It's easy to assume they'd come to take out Blade, seeing the involvement Rani had with the Black Knives previously. It's not too far to think she employed them once again to protect her after Blade escaping his prison. But that brings up more questions. You also see the assassins went after Eiji, finding him dead after informing him about Blade's death. He says, unthinkable. How could Blade? How did he break free from his cell? No, more importantly, Blade became a curse that plagued Lady Rani, yet in madness gave himself to her. I've made a grave misjudgment, and I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blade. And when I do, I only hope you'll accept my apology. This line seems to show E.G. knows his death is coming, but how does he know? What does he mean by grave misjudgment? Does he mean simply misjudging Blade and having him locked away? Or did he misjudge Rani and her intentions, realizing he made a mistake in following her? Did Rani intend to just eliminate all around her, cutting loose ends on the start of her journey down the dark path? Or are the Black Knives being controlled by someone else now sent to eliminate Rani and all of her following? Now, I could go on and on about that, but that's maybe for another video. And this is why I have so much trouble making these, because as I'm saying a thought, ten more come to mind, and I can't help but try to imagine every possible scenario that would make sense. But anyways, my whole reason for making this, and my big question today is, where are Mikola and Millennia shadows? A line from E.G. tells us, the two fingers gave blade to Lady Rani as a faithful follower. Her very shadow, incapable of treachery, but if Lady Rani, as an Empyrean, resists being an instrument of the two fingers, the shadow will go mad, transforming from a follower into a horrid curse. Now, we know that Empyreans chosen by fingers are allegedly given a shadow, or rather, it's created for them. I believe it is quite literally made from them, as Malekith is Merica's half-brother, but has no real history before becoming her shadow. Blade states, no, I'm part of her very being, about Rani, and even Eiji e e mentions that Blade is more like a brother to Rani. So are the shadows pieces taken from the Empyrean it serves? Blade's armor says, according to the old legends, wolves are the shadows of the Empyrean. Could that be why the shadows we see are half wolf? Other half Empyrean, maybe? I could write a book of questions, but let's continue with why haven't we seen the shadows for Mikola and Millennia? We know they're both Empyreans. We know they're both chosen by their own fingers. As Rani clearly says, I was once an Empyrean. Of the demigods, only I, Mikola, and Millennia could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers as a candidate to succeed Queen Merica, to become the new god of the coming age, which is when I received Blade in the form of a vassal 
tailored for an Empyrean. Tailored for an Empyrean. It, to me, that just says created for an Empyrean. I know a popular theory is that Mikula and Millennia are each other's shadows. And that's a fun thought. And Millennia saying, I am the blade of Mikula makes it even seem likely. But to me, it doesn't fit with anything we know about shadows. Seeing as shadows are seemingly created, and these are two separate Empyreans, which makes you ask why the Fingers would choose two Empyreans to be each other's shadow. If they decided to go against the greater will, they'd have nothing to stop or stand against them. So given that scenario, it makes no sense that their separate fingers would choose them for each other, as well as knowing that shadows historically are wolves or wolf-related, and there's just no semblance of that with either of them. So where are their shadows? Is it just that they slayed their own shadows already? Where are their fingers? Did they destroy them? These are just a few of many questions that bug me that I have about Elden Ring, but I've yet to find any reasonable answer worth putting out. So I want to just leave you all with these same questions and get your thoughts on it. I'm also looking to see someone else's point of view, especially if it contradicts mine, because then I may very well notice something that I've missed. But I'll leave you to think on this. Please let me know your thoughts as well. That said... I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter, and until next time, it's D3D Jigsaw. Y'all stay beautiful.